Good morning, my awesome friends. So I've had a lot of ladies asking me about the markers and why I like the Sharpie and where I can get the Sharpie. And um, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you the reason why I love it so much. So I've already crumpled some metal tape strips and I'm going to just test out three permanent markers that I have and show you the difference. Okay. So the first one I'm going to use is an outline marker and for my overseas followers, I'm in South Africa, remember, so I, you've got different things where you are. And the outline marker is available at any stationery office store. So we're going to use that. First, the nib. The nib is a little bit smaller than the Sharpie and when you use the outline marker, and it goes on, it's very black. It's true black, if I can put it that way. Okay, so you can see it's black, black. Put it aside, leave it for a moment. Then I'm going to use my Sharpie. The Sharpie's nib is fatter. And you get the Sharpie in a chisel tip or bullet tip. I don't mind either. Now, the interesting thing with the Sharpie is it's actually like a purple color, purple black. It's got a purple undertone. I'm sure you can see that. And so ladies were really worried that everything's going to look purple. Well, I promise you it won't. It has a purple undertone, but once you've worked with it, it goes black. And then I bought this um, Parrot product permanent marker yesterday just for this video to show you the difference. So this has also got a bullet tip. It's much the same as the um, Sharpie tip, but when it's really hard to work on, I don't know if you can see. Can you see it makes gaps? It's not so soft, the tip. And then you have to like color it a lot more. It makes lines. I don't know if you can see that. You know, if you go over it. Can you see? So it doesn't really color so well, if you understand what I mean. So I'll leave that one there. Now, going back to our, just put those out the way, our art line. It's just about impossible to rub off. Can you see that? really impossible to rub off it's stuck on so tight that now we go to our sharpie and look at that sharpie rubs off really well and now we come back to our parrot and it basically kind of smears and it also has a, a bit of a purple undertone I don't know how this is going to react if you're going to color it, so I haven't tested that out, but I just thought I'd show you. Okay, so now you know why I love the Sharpie. But going back to this, I've had a lot of ladies say that their Sharpie didn't rub off. I mean, I've actually left my Sharpie on overnight and rubbed it off with a, a little soft cloth. This is a piece of t-shirting and it rubbed off fine. But if you can't, then you can just use your buff and rub it off. So I think if you've got a, a permanent marker that isn't a Sharpie and you do use it and you can't rub it, rub it off, just use your sandpaper buff to rub it off and you will get a similar effect. Not too bad. But for convenience sake and because I work so quickly and I do a lot of metal tape, the Sharpie is my go-to tool. So I hope that helps. Um, I do... Um, have sharpies here in george so if you're struggling to find them then let me know um, i don't really stock metal tape goodies except the wide tape um, but i see some of the ladies are really struggling so please let me know and i can source it locally for you the sharpies as i said to you earlier um, can be bought at p a they're the only place that i've seen them but not every PA has it. So you need to actually tell your PA to order them in for you. 
for me to go to my local craft store or PA store and buy them and then send them to you the courier costs are just too high so i encourage you to try and get your local PAs to stock them for you because they are available you just need to make sure that you show them this pen and tell them you want the bullet or the chisel tipped fat marker um, i think it's called the m15 and the other one is the m10 so ask them to order those for you thanks girls